Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where we will show you how to model structural members in RAM Elements Connect Edition. In this video, we are going to be focusing on modeling nodes. In RAM Elements, a model is essentially an assembly of components. These components can be plan subassemblies such as floor structures, individual frames consisting of linear beams, columns, and braces, or even two-dimensional or three-dimensional elements such as slabs and walls. To represent these components in RAM elements, you will need to create nodes, members, and shells. We're going to be starting with modeling nodes today. Nodes define the coordinates or boundary locations of all of the elements in a structure. The nodes are entered in the data panel under the nodes tab in the coordinates icon. When you are ready to start modeling nodes in RAM elements, you're going to go to your data panel and select the nodes tab followed by the coordinates icon. Now you can see when these two are selected, your active spreadsheet tools also become available for modeling nodes. Now you can model nodes a number of different ways. You can enter their coordinate values directly into the data sheet. You can copy and paste coordinate values from another spreadsheet program such as Microsoft Excel. You can create some predefined templates or use some of the active spreadsheet tools. Now we'll be able to use a few of these different options in the next series of exercises. The first option we're going to do is we're going to enter the coordinate values directly into the data sheet. Now as a reminder, the units for each data sheet are located in the top right hand corner. So we'll enter the values for our first coordinate. So we'll enter zero feet for the X, the Y and the Z, and you can see our first node has appeared on our screen. And then we'll repeat this process for a few additional nodes at 0 and 24 feet, at 0 and 28.5 feet, and then finally at 12 feet and 30 feet in the Y. And as a reminder, the Y is the vertical axis in RAM elements. Next, we are going to take a look at the active spreadsheet tools, which are available through the spreadsheet tab of the ribbon when the nodes tab and the coordinates icon are both active in the data panel. We have three separate tools for generating nodes up here. We have a linear generation of nodes, which will generate a straight line of nodes. We have a quad Drangular generation of nodes, which generates nodes in a region defined by four nodes, and a circular generation of nodes command, which generates nodes following a circular path. Now, each of these commands will require you to model a few additional nodes before and selecting them before invoking these commands. These requirements are indicated in the icon graphic. So if we take a look at the linear generation of nodes, we're going to see several different points indicated here, and two of them are indicated in blue. Those two nodes are what you're going to need to model first, and then you're going to need to select them in a particular order. You can see here some of these other will require more than two nodes to be selected, and then they need to be selected in the order that they're shown there. So what we're going to do is we are going to unselect all currently selected nodes, and then we're going to hold down our shift key and then select the first node and then the second node. Then we're going to invoke our linear generation of nodes and it's going to ask us how many nodes we want to generate. We're going to generate one node and it'll automatically space it exactly in between those two nodes. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and click OK. And you can see it added one node exactly halfway between this node and this previous node that we created. The last tool we're going to take a look at for modeling nodes is the copy and paste commands. So here, for example, you're going to want to make a selection first. Say, for example, I want to copy these four nodes. I'm going to select them. Then I'm going to go to my Home tab in my ribbon, where I'm going to find my copy command. Within this dialog, I could either copy or create a mirror. I'm going to go ahead and do a copy. And I'm going to create the copy. We're going to do it in 24 feet 
in the X direction. How many copies do I want to create? I'm going to create one copy. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and click OK. And you can see here I created the same nodes 24 feet over to the right. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.